Finally. Uh, uh, I'm worn out. Uh, Our shopping day in Magic uh -huh. City was beyond magical. Beyond exhausting, you mean. All we did was run after you from one shop to the other. In case you forgot, Stella, all these shopping bags are yours. Uh, and they're really heavy. Hmm. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Then what we need is a miniaturizing spell. Hmm. Why didn't you do this like four hours ago? <laughs> I <laughs> didn't want you to miss out on the thrill of helping me. <laughs> Stella? <laughs> Mm. Hmm. Headmistress Farragonda is going to give us so much grief about this. Relax. I know a secret passage that can get us back inside without being seen. Step only where I step and don't make a sound. Ah! Huh? Ah! 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 Run away! Run away! Ah! Ah! Get ready, girls. What is that thing? We'll find out later. First, we have to stop it. Tecna, Flora, get those girls to safety. <gasps> you, with me. Huh? Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Come here, little one. Nobody is going to hurt you. <laughs> Mistress Farragonda! Uh, did we wake you up? We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Ladies, what did you feed it? Just as I suspected, the Can Gourmet must eat only fruits and vegetables. Because candy turns it into a rampaging nightmare. You are the keepers of the Alfea Natural Park. Don't forget that. As for all of you, I'm sure you have an excellent reason for coming back so late. Uh, uh, <laughs> in my office, now. I'm very disappointed, Winx. You are the best fairies in Alfia. You should be setting an example for all the students. You're right, Headmistress. It won't happen again. <sighs> There's another reason I asked you here. <gasps> what you see here is the Althea Natural Park. Tomorrow morning, you're all going to accompany me to visit it. I'd like for you all to see it. Because you're going to plan the park's grand opening party. Party? Huh? Did somebody say party? Uh. A grand opening party, can you imagine? It's so exciting. I don't know if I can get to sleep. <laughs> well, I know I can. Kiko! I'm sorry it's so late. Is everything all right? Huh? Oh, you poor thing. Here you go. Oh! See you tomorrow, girls. Wear something mm -hmm. sporty. It's gonna be a day in the open air. Leave it to me. I'll work all night on the 
the perfect outfits. <laughs> huh? Huh? Unbelievable. Oh, you better believe it, Aisha. Prepare for a jaw-dropping fashion juggernaut! Uh, not that jaw-dropping. We are about to travel through a park filled with wondrous animals, and our styles should reflect that. Hmm. Ladybugs? Uh, really? Or if you prefer something a little wilder? Yeah. Well, Stella, we might need something a bit more practical. Uh, <laughs> and discreet? You mean something with no style whatsoever? Ugh. After all, we are just tourists in the park. Tourists, yeah. did you say? I can work with tourists. Wow! <gasps> we, we love, love it. it. Laughing, Kiko. I've got a tourist outfit for you, too. Nice to see you, Wings. <laughs> We're ready to go. Along with the two keepers, a friend of yours will also be joining us. <laughs> Roxy! Hey, girls. I thought, who better than the Fairy of Animals to get the Ken Gourmet safely back to the park? show on the road, or poor Kiko won't have any carrots left. idea, headmistress. Thank you, Bloom. I created this place as a refuge for all the fairy animals. Each one of them is a unique creature with its own special power or talent. There are some animals in the park who are already extinct on their native worlds. But here, they can live peacefully, safe from any threat. This place is massive. How can you guard all of it from intruders and predators? We have something better than walls or gates to protect the park. We have this. Oh. 
A magical barrier. Only those who have fairy magic can pass through. Welcome to Alfea Natural Park. <laughs> well then, the keepers and I are going on an operations inspection. You uh -huh. girls take a look around and see if you can come up with some nice ideas for the grand opening party next week. Never fear, <laughs> the queen of parties is here. This is such a wonderful place. It's all so beautiful. I would like to dedicate a song of harmony and serenity to all the animals that live here. Me guess because he digs holes. It isn't funny, Kiko. Are you okay, little Digmole? He looks just fine. This little guy sure has a tough head. Over there. 
Kiko! Thank goodness you're okay! <laughs> Someplace safe. Girls, ferry up. <laughs> Magic wings, bloom it. Bloom, fairy of the dragon flame. Musa, fairy of music. Magic of the dragon flame. Techna, fairy of technology. Flora. Turkey doesn't know who he's dealing with. That birdie bully should pick on someone its own size. <laughs> Magical vine net! <laughs> nice try, but this buzzard belongs behind bars. Morphix cage! Raised to cook that goose. No! You might hit the digmole. This calls for some shock and awe. <coughs> Volcanic attack! was that? I've never seen anything like it. I'm so sorry, girls. We couldn't protect the Digmal. <sighs> this is very disturbing news indeed, girls. That bird of prey came from outside the park, headmistress. It definitely had fairy powers. It attacked us and crossed the barrier like it was nothing. Hmm. I'll do some research and find out what species it belongs to. But why did it abduct the Digmole? We must solve this mystery. Hmm. Phileas, get out here! Welcome home, dear sister! And I'm not alone, Brophilius. Behold! 
Oh, the last signal in the magic dimension! You actually did it! <laughs> Don't sound so surprised. I always get what I want. Now lock him up. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> that tingles! Quit it! <laughs> Don't let him get away! Get him! Uh, you little fella, don't be scared. Nobody wants to hurt you. Save your breath, brother. The filthy creature is obviously smarter than you. <laughs> do I have to do everything myself? <laughs> your way out of there. <laughs> nice job, Kelsara. No, oh, I'm just getting started. <laughs> That rodent is but the first step on the road to our triumph. Very soon, I'll have an army of fairy animals at my command. At last, my lifelong goal will soon be in reach. Now, these animals might seem harmless or even useless, but I shall turn them into a mighty army that is mine to command. But to do this, I must have the fairy animal's ultimate power. <laughs> The secret of this power was entrusted to the Digmoles. And that is the last living Digmol. I have to make it talk. Sure thing, Kalshara. I'll bring it to you. Hmm. You do remember the spell? Of course I do. Uh, Maybe, I hope. Uh, uh... Fall free! Hey! Oh, Brav, oh, Brafilius. I'd say that you've earned a reward. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Huh? If you had brought me the Digmo like I asked you! Oh, oh, wait, wait, I could do it. I remember. Um, flow. Oh, no flow, Tim. Flow, Tim, agile elevation! Idiot!
so much to discuss, you and I. Come on, let's move. You're late. We never imagined that a dangerous creature with fairy powers would enter the park. I've done my research. That bird doesn't belong to any known species. I couldn't find it anywhere. It doesn't make any sense, Headmistress Farragonda. Why would it abduct the Digmal? I couldn't say, but I fear the worst. All fairy animals play a key role in the balance of the magical universe. Even the smallest of them huh? has a magical power or secret which could be very dangerous in the wrong hands. There must be something we can do. We should find other Digmals and figure out what their secret power is. Mm, unfortunately, we can't. Digmals are nearly extinct. The one the bird took was the last of its kind. And it's not like we can go back in time to find others. On the contrary, that's precisely what you're going to do. Huh? Huh? Welcome to the Hall of Memories. This is the Stone of Memories. It has the unique ability to send you back in time. We could actually go back in time to when more Digmals lived? Mm-hmm. We'll find some Digmals and solve this mystery. Right, Winx? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready, Headmistress Farragonda. I have no doubt that you will succeed, girls. Now. Stand back. Of memories. They are your tickets into the past. They are all magically connected to each other, and they all light up, even when only one is activated. But their power is very dangerous. If you change the past in any way, even accidentally, you could alter the present. Huh. You can trust us, Headmistress. Now, off you go. Fia? Yes, but in the past. That crest proves it. Try not to attract any attention. We need to keep a low profile. It's not like anybody will recognize us. Girls, you're late. <gasps> that voice. No way! It can't be! You're lucky I haven't already shut the gate. 
Otherwise, Headmistress Mavilla would be the one dealing with you. Oh. No! <gasps> Tell me that isn't... Lighten up, Griselda. <laughs> Why are you always so uptight? Hmm. It's really Griselda, all right. Are you coming with us? The exhibition's about to start. Sorry, but the headmistress asked me to monitor the entrance. I cannot leave my post. <sighs> Whatever. The rest of us don't want to miss the fairy animals exhibition. Hmm. Hmm. An exhibition? <gasps> with fairy <gasps> animals? <gasps> that could be exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> Fairy animals! And it looks like they live here at Althea. <laughs> An accordifant and a ball rat playing with each other. A flock of Kalinori! <gasps> I wonder why Farragonda never told us Althea used to be like this. Well, I see why she never mentioned what used to pass for style around here. Of course, Stella can make even retro look good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think we'll blend in now. <laughs> That's great, Stella! <laughs> now, let's go see if there are any dig moles living at this Althea. <laughs> oh. 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 Sorry, oh. sorry, sorry. I'm super late. <laughs> that girl's animal is a dig mole. And I'm not sure what, but there's something familiar about her. We should go talk to her. Hmm. Hmm. It's the headmistress. It's so cool. Welcome to the annual Fairy Animal Exhibition. As you know, training these animals is an essential part of a fairy magic education. Huh? It is? <laughs> so, I hope you have all learned your lessons well. Let the exhibition begin! could be so calm and obedient. <laughs> Scarrots are usually shy and skittish. It's almost impossible to train them. And now. 
now, I will have the Digmo jump towards, uh, what you see, I, towards, uh, uh, towards this fruit. Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, moon fruits make scarrots go crazy. Oh, no! <laughs> 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 No! Wait! something?
<laughs> you need to calm down. I see the problem. She just fainted. <laughs> Dear beetles, they're dangerous and aggressive. We need to transform. No, huh? they'll attack if we make any sudden movements. A real fairy animal tamer. Hmm. Uh, oh. Oh. Are you all right? Y y yes. Thanks to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did you ruin the exhibition and put the entire school in danger, but you've also lost your fairy animal. Terribly unbecoming for a fairy. I'm sorry, Headmistress Mavilla. Being sorry isn't enough, Farragonda. That's <gasps> our Headmistress huh? Farragonda? Huh? <laughs> I must thank you all so much for your valiant intervention. Are you from another school? Uh, uh... <laughs> yes, from a place where all fairy animals live free in their natural habitat. You don't approve of our methods, my dear? Our program is based on the Tome of Nature. This book contains all there is to know about fairy animals. But... I do hope you will find your visit to Althea pleasant. And... Educational. Uh? Oh. Come on, cheer up. It wasn't that bad. It was a disaster. But thank you anyway. I'm sorry I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Farragonda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we all know who you are, Headman. <laughs> I was actually impressed by your skills. It's rare for a Digmole to bond with a fairy. But my Digmole ran away. Farragonda, <laughs> we'll help you find him. Wow, really? <laughs> The metamorphosis symbiosis test is about to start. You better hurry. Oh no. I need to brush up on this quick. Can you shut the door, please? Huh? The examination is about to begin. <laughs> it's Whiskers. He looks exactly the same. Shh. <laughs> the key to metamorphosymbiosis is focus. Observe as I channel the majestic one horned eagle. Oh. <sighs> hmm. I'm as slow as a snail. Oh, no. Oh, uh. Uh -huh. For 
Aragonda, I once heard you say you would like to become the Alfia headmistress one day. If that is still what you want, you need to be quick. Zap! Like lightning! Quick to get to class! Quick to learn! Zap! I'm sorry. And where is your fairy animal? Her dig mole escaped. And she made my scarret run away, too. <gasps> Hmm. You have got to get your act together, young lady. Be more like Kalshara. Show them, my dear. a first-rate example of metamorphosymbiosis. Zap! You score a perfect A-plus on the exam, and you may be excused, Kalshara. Thank you so much, Professor. And you too, young lady. Huh? Leave my classroom and don't come back until you've recovered your dig ball. What? You heard me. <laughs> I let everybody down again. Headmistress Mavilla would know what to do because of her book. That is a brilliant idea. What is a brilliant idea? Why, borrowing Mavilla's book, of course. That book contains the secrets of every kind of fairy animal. Digmoles, too. It could help you win back everybody's respect. Welcome, and please uh -huh. come in. I'm not in the office right now, but if you leave a message with my pellet fly, I'll get back to you. Wait for the beak. It's, uh, nothing important. I'll come back later. doesn't chicken out, the ultimate power will soon be ours. Well done, Well, what can I say? I am the greatest. Kalshara? Kalshara! Farragunda, my dear friend. I actually got it. Now I can find out how to fix everything. I'm very impressed with you. It's called the Valley of Fruit. It looks like you'd be able to find more than one dig ball there. Uh -huh. Wait, I need to return the book to Mavilla's office. No, huh? you don't. Uh, but... <laughs> I just mean, I'll return it for you. You can trust me. Uh, okay. Thanks. <clears throat> the first step toward gaining the ultimate power is to find a natural source of wild magic. Huh? 
guardians of nature, I entreat you all. Grant me entry to the Fairy Animals Hall! We need to find Farragonda as soon as possible. We can't let Kalshara get her into trouble. There she is! Uh -huh. Huh? Head Miss... Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Farragonda? What's up? Fantastic news, girls. I figured out how to find my dick mole. I just have to go to the Valley of Fruit. Great, but how exactly did you figure it out? Uh... Wild magic, you belong to me now. about them. Who could have guessed that those dirty little vermin hold the key to the fairy animal's ultimate power? <laughs> I'm taking this. running away. What are they afraid of? Please tell me this is not my fault. What did you do? Good question. My Pellifly recorded your voice during your little visit to my office. Can you please tell me why it is that I just found the Tome of Nature on the desk in your room? I'm sorry, Headmistress. I borrowed it from your office without asking. Mm -hmm. But Kalshara oh. promised she would put it back. So you're saying this is all Kalshara's fault? Uh. Huh? Up there! That bird! Hmm? That's the same huh? bird Kalshara transformed into in Whiskiz's class. Headmistress, it can't be a coincidence that Kalshara is flying away after reading your book. And during all this... Farragonda, you'll come with me and help me restore order to the fairy animal world. We're her uh, friends. Mm -hmm. We want to come along and help. Very well. Where do you think we should go first? To the Valley of Fruit. We'll definitely <laughs> find Dingmoles there. Back off, monster! <laughs> Don't you recognize your own sister, Brophilius? Wait, but... Kalshara? It sounds like you, but what happened? I'm a master shapeshifter now, thanks to wild magic. <laughs> You're an animal! That's horrible! You finally have the chance to wield the ultimate power, and you back away! I don't want it anymore! No, thank you! Wrong answer, brother dear! Go and fetch 
Fetch me one of those digmoles, dog. <laughs> Go get it, boy. Good doggy. Try actually using your new powers. <laughs> 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 Voice. If it isn't Ferraganda and the gaggle of newbie losers. Kalshara, is that you? You're so changed. It's called Wild Magic. You should try it sometime. Huh? Let's teach those two what magic can do. But if we transform, Mavilla will know we're not real students. We don't have a choice. These digmoles are our mission. We have to protect them from Kalshara. Magic Winks, Blue Mix! Bloom, Fairy of the Dragon Flame! Flora, Fairy of Nature! Stella, Fairy of the Shining Sun! Aisha, Fairy of Way! with your animal magic! <laughs> Giants of the Valley, rise and gather the Digmoles! underground with it. Rafelius, your monster is taking all the digmoles. I need at least mm -hmm. one. Right. Giant, come here to your master. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! You don't attack your master. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Kalshara, why are you doing this? You are my best student. And you were a competent headmistress. You taught me about the power of animal magic. In fact, why don't I show you just how much I've learned? I've learned a good bit myself. Now, little kitty, time for you to go to your cave. <laughs> I totally just saved you, sis! Aww, look how cute you are! <laughs> the giant seems to be protected by nature. We can't stop it with our powers! <laughs> the Digmoles are fairy animals. If we free them,
them, they'll know how to defend themselves. I think we can do it if each one of us hits one of the giant's arms. But what if we hit one of the little furry guys? We just have to be better than usual. Winx, take aim! Nature has given you the Butterflex power because you have proven yourselves the true defenders of the fairy animals. That is why we came here. I guess we don't have anything to hide anymore. Uh, oh. Hi, sweetie. It's good to see you. You're a good pet. A good friend. Now it's time for you to go live your own life. Go, run free. Are we just letting them go? We were supposed to find out their secrets. We'll do it when we get back. We'll find our answers somewhere at Althea. Well <gasps> done, Farragonda. Today, you have acted not only with wisdom, but with insight and compassion as well. Huh? You have all shown me how wrong I've been. Fairy animals need to live free. I wanted the school to be their home. It has taken me too long to realize that it was only a big cage to them. So I'm going to use the magic left in the fairy animal hall to erase all our memories so that no one can remember these unfortunate events. So you won't remember anything? Nothing. That way no one will be able to misuse or abuse fairy animals again. <laughs> Goodbye, girls. Thank you for all your help. Farragonda, we will see you later. And I do believe I have found the perfect place for the park grand opening party. It's good to be the party queen. Oh. I wonder what she meant by that. <laughs> 